Hello, I'm Scott Putnam. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a side planer. What you'll need to do this is a bead, a barrel swivel, a snap to hook your lure to, a side planer. Side planers are available at any tackle shop, and a plug. So I'll start out by feeding the side planer. What we'll do is run the line through this hole. Then it goes down through this opening and back through this. So once again, that's through this opening, down through that hole, and it, it continues on, slides out this opening here. Next, I'll put on a bead. And the bead is to protect the line when the side planer comes down. It prevents the side planer from fraying this line. So as you see, then that allows that side planter to go down and it protects that knot. Next, I'll put on a short piece of line, two to three feet of line, onto that barrel swivel. I'm a little shorter for demonstration purpose here, just easier to work with on this table, but two to three feet is fine. And from there, I just go to my snap. Of course, always remember to wet your knots. That keeps them lubricated and it prevents heat from weakening the connection point. So what I've got, I've got the line going through the side planer, down to the bead, which is connected to a barrel swivel. Again, this is to protect this knot. So when this slides down, it protects that. From there I get a short length of line down to the snap which then is connected to a lure. To set up the side planer what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this arm. As you see there's a one way to use it. The way a side planer works as you can see is it has this upturned bill. And as it works in the water, that's what keeps it afloat. And so what we want to do is if the current is from my left to my right, we want this to face up current. But we want it to take this lure and pull it out. We want it to pull it away from us. Same concept is if the current is coming from right to left, Again, we want to face up. You notice there's two ramps here. One here, one here. And this, again, with the side up, just slides onto that, like that. Next, we'll use one of two different size blades. If you're in real fast current or windy conditions, this smaller blade works really good. If you're in typical, what I would call normal steelhead water, good water, it's a little slower water, uh, not a lot of wind out there to flip this over, I use this larger one. And that just slides it on like that. And that is a side planter setup. So what will happen then is this will grab the water, the current, and it will pull out. Now to load this, the way this works is, this is an easy way to take this plug out, but you want this to get down on the bottom where the fish are. So depending on the depth of the water, we may want to get this down, say, 9, 10 feet. To do that, we've got to let a lot of line out to allow this to get to that 9, 10 foot mark. 
So what I'll do is I'll let line out. So, you know, I'll put strip line out. Once I get it to where I want, I use this quick release arm right here. And there's snaps on either side, depending on which side you're using. But again, this comes to you. So you lock that in. It's locked in there. Then you take this line and you wrap it around this bill, generally four times. One, two, three, four. Then with tension on it, you put this in the water, allow the current to grab it, and it'll pull it away. What happens when a fish bites, you don't want to fight this big, lure, this big side planer. You want that either way. You want to feel the fish. So what happens is a fish, normal fishing conditions and situation, this would be in the water like this. You'd have tension on this line. This would be pulled down by your lure. When a fish tugs on this, it releases this quick release arm. When it does that, you know, it took the line off that bill, allows this side planer to actually slide down that 30 feet that we put out, come down. This is where that barrel swivel and that bead come in because that will slide down. It protects the knot from that side planer and it allows you to have direct contact with the fish. Now you're fighting the fish, not the side planer, which is out of your way. That's all you really need. It's a really effective way to get out in some faster moving water, get out away from the crowds. Uh, it's just as effective as fishing out of a boat. In fact, I call this my $10 drift boat.